Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> She's like, she just knows. It's the Freya show. It's not your channel mum, it's mine. I'm actually filming my very first Christmas haul. I've never filmed one before because I never had a need to, but since we moved here into this new house, we don't have any Christmas decorations. So Chris didn't have any, I didn't bring any from Melbourne, so we were completely bare of Christmas decorations. And I was very much looking forward to starting our collection this year. What I didn't foresee was a cost of living crisis, uh, which puts us in a position where we have to be realistic about the money that we're spending so there was no massive massive christmas haul for us this year we got the basics we oh we did get a few extra bits as well we got a tree we got some baubles um we were given some lights our tree is actually pre-lit though and a couple of little decorative bits so i'm just going to take you through it it's going to be a very realistic Christmas haul. This is probably not going to make you do any crazy purchasing that is completely unnecessary over the holiday season. So don't worry about that. We're being controlled. We're not spending ridiculous amounts of money on ridiculous things. There's no viral thousand dollar Christmas tree in this video. Although the one that I've got, it's a damn nice tree and it's only 150 bucks. This is a realistic Christmas haul for our first Christmas in our new home, starting from scratch. So let's start with the Christmas tree. I got the seven foot pre-lit Christmas tree from Aldi. It's $149. This is a beautiful tree. I actually bought this tree last year and we set it up at home in Melbourne. And I kind of had thought, mm, I'll get to take it with me anyway because at the time I thought I had more space for moving things. Turns out I didn't. So I left the tree at home. I figured it's fine. It would cost me more to send it from Melbourne than to just buy a new one. Mum can use the Aldi one at Melbourne or maybe we'll even sell it. I don't know, whatever, it doesn't matter. Didn't break the bank with this tree, but I knew that it was a beautiful tree and easy to set up. So this has two types of foliage in it, which gives it a bit more of an interesting look. It definitely needs to be well fluffed when you get it out of the box, but being pre-lit, once you've fluffed it, like she's good to go. You just put it together, fluff it, turn it on, and she's done. Once I'd secured the tree, the next step was to decide what color scheme I wanted to go with, with the Christmas baubles. Now, if you don't know what a bauble is, it's these ornaments. The round ornaments are baubles. I'm pretty traditional when it comes to the colors that I like to go with. I like green, red, gold, silver, mixing them up and creating like whatever color scheme that I want for the year. I don't want a new color scheme every single year, but I want to have like the core colors in my stash so that as the years roll around, I can rotate and pick based on my vibes. Now, this year I wanted green and red but I wanted a very specific type of green and red. And that's where things proved to be a little bit difficult because I didn't want to spend a fortune on baubles. I wanted to spend not too much on the very basic ones and then have some money left over to buy some specialty ones. And it took me quite a while to find these. Um, I went to quite a few stores. They didn't have what I wanted and even the stores that were more expensive still didn't have the colors quite right for me. But Target actually had what I wanted this year, so I was really happy about that. I wanted a dark red, like burgundy, and a really dark green. So that's what I went for. I picked up um, four packs. I got one each of the four centimeter baubles. These are 24 pieces. I think they were $10 maybe. And then 
I got one of the standard six centimeter bauble. They did have larger ones. They've got like an eight centimeter pack. They've got smaller uh, two or no, were they three centimeter baubles? So they're like really little ones. I didn't pick them up just because I didn't feel like they weren't exactly what I was looking for. And I kind of went in this year with the attitude of don't buy things that aren't right. Like if you can't find the right colors of green and red, then just do a silver and gold tree. And next year you might get lucky and find the colors that you want. But also don't buy packs of baubles where you only like one texture or one of the designs, but the rest of them you're not into. So I was being pretty strict about what I was buying because I didn't want to end up with stuff that I, I didn't even like. I'm very much looking forward to many, many more years of being able to buy Christmas decorations because we don't already have 20 million of them like this is a really good starting point because I can still go throughout the rest of December and if I see something that I really like I can buy it without being like oh well I already bought 400 Christmas baubles this year so maybe I shouldn't do that like I'm being I'm trying to be smart I'm trying not to stimulate the econ economy too much and I only want to buy things that I love and I want to savor the experience of being able to grow this collection. And that's actually where the Christmas tree decorations stop for me this year. However, I certainly did see other things that I liked while I was out filming my shop with me's. So I found this tray here from Kmart. I believe it was $16. It's a wooden tray, just like a serving board. I expect my boyfriend to bring me breakfast in bed on this. Are you listening, baby? I really like this. It's classic. It's simple. It's not gaudy. It's not like, it's fine. It's gonna, it's gonna last us many years. And it's just, it's simple. It's simple. And I like simple. From Target, I found these. Now these kind of go with my theme because they are a dark green glass. It's just a set of geometric trees. It look like trees. Um, nice for just, you know, sitting on a countertop or whatever, somewhere, a table, a bench, whatever. And I also found this little guy. This was also from Target. I think it was my boyfriend's being ridiculous. So this is just a faux flocked um, Christmas tree. Can you get at, what are you even doing over there? You are going to break something. Oh my God, my dog's a menace. I liked this one because it has these tiny little pine cones stuck on it. It's pretty cute. It, she, oh God, she's already got dog hair on it. The dog has rubbed up against it and dog hair stuck on it. And she needs a little zhuzh uh, to, you know, bring her into her Christmas tree era, but she'll be fine. I will make it happen. I will spend some time making it cute. I like it very much. What else? I have this cushion. I'm not gonna lie guys. I really wanted, I was hoping to get, you know, potentially four to six cushions because we've got this couch in here, which this couch is the TV behind you guys and the couch are the features in this room. There's really not that much else in here. So the only thing I can really decorate is the couch, um, unless we had two Christmas trees and we don't. One eventually, eventually we will, because you can bet your ass I want a tree in this room as well. But I did want a lot of cushions. Now, problem is, I feel like everyone's got style for their cushions that they like. And this was the only one that I found out and about where I was like, yes, I really like that. And also it kind of fits with my theme, the dark, dark green. So I grabbed this one. It was from Kmart. I don't remember how much it was, maybe $10. So I grabbed this one thinking, oh, don't worry, you'll go to many more stores and you'll find many more cushions that you like at very reasonable prices. 
and I haven't. No, it's not your cushion, it's mine. Here's something else that Americans don't seem to have. Um, these are bonbons, Christmas bonbons. So we picked up two packs. I don't know why. I don't think we're hosting. I don't know if we're doing anything for Christmas. I, I don't know. I don't. We're doing something, but I don't know really what the plans are. But I guess we're providing the bonbons. We just grabbed these ones from Kmart. They're a 12 pack for $10. Chris knew that I was going red and green. So he got the ones that are holographic red with the green accents on the white ones. A Christmas bonbon is essentially a cracker. So it's a dual person thing. Um, each person holds one end of the cracker and you pull it and this center part here um, stays attached to one of the ends and whoever gets this part gets like a little toy or I mean these ones look to be like little games of some sort origami stuff like that you get a hat and you get a really really terrible but joyously Christmassy joke inside so everyone gets one at their placemat at Christmas and you all go around and share the like cracking them and they have a little thing inside that like pops and makes a bang sound so they're fun they're cute they're very traditional i know you find them everywhere in australia and in the uk but i'm not sure about other areas in the world i'm i'm sure there are other places i just know every time i talk about a christmas cracker or a christmas bonbon people from america are like well what what are you talking about oh i also found this this was at Kmart and I was really, okay, really happy to find this. This is a coverlet set. So there's a coverlet, which is a really thin blanket and two pillow cases. And it's got, it's like in, not embroidered, it's stitched. So it's white, red stitching, and it's got like holly leaves and is it holly? Yeah, yeah, it's holly. Um, so this is a queen king size to fit a queen or king bed. Um, and the reason, look, when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, I swear someone is thinking of me right now. It's really hot here in Perth, like violently hot. But sometimes in the evenings, you still need a little bit of something. But even our lightest doona is too much but a sheet is not enough uh so we're kind of in this really awkward annoying part of the season it's called spring but it's very confused here anyway i found this and i thought absolutely perfect we just need something very light and this will do really well throughout november and the rest of december and then in the new year we will probably just have the aircon on every bloody day anyway, so who cares? We also got an outdoor mm. decoration. Um, I've never decorated the outside of our house other than Christmas lights, simply because we didn't really have the space previously, but now we do. So I saw these ones at Kmart and I quite liked them. They are a mock box hedge with a ribbon around it and lights. They're solar powered. It's a two pack. You get a big one and a medium one. They have 90 LED lights on them and the sizes are 58 centimeters tall and 45 centimeters tall for the large and the small one respectively. So we're going to pop these out the front. Now, when I saw them, I was like, oh, I, I kind of like them. And then Chris saw them later in another area of Kmart and he said he liked them too. So we were like, well, when both of you like a Christmas decoration, like just get that shit. I'm not even joking. Like get it. There is something else that I bought. It's not a decoration. It's it's an advent calendar and it was it was a very um spur of the moment thing i'd actually found these online um well over a month ago like 
I potentially heard about them early October, maybe even late September. I can't remember, but it's been quite a while. I looked them up online and they were sold out everywhere. So I was like, well, doesn't even matter. I'm not, I'm not even going to have access to it. So move right along. Who cares? But then I was at the bottle shop getting some beers for Chris and this was there and I was like oh god it's a sign from Christmas Jesus he wants me to have something nice it's the Bilson's advent calendar for 2023 now usually when it comes to doing advent calendars for myself I would get a beauty advent calendar I love to get the Lego Harry Potter one it's just become tradition now and I would get like a sweet advent calendar or maybe like one year I got a cheese advent calendar, stuff like that. Now this year I was kind of like, mm, I'm probably going to rein it in. I'm probably maybe not even going to get one at all. I ended up getting one and I've actually ended up with two because a friend sent me one and now I have this one for myself and I'm pretty happy to have it. Um, it was on sale. They usually retail for 160 I got it for 150 which is not too bad, 10 bucks off. But essentially what's in there is um, 24 cans of Bilson's like premix vodka. I'm gonna put a list or like a picture or something up of some of the flavors that Bilson's make and they are, they're yum. I discovered Bilson's quite a few years ago, like maybe, I don't know, maybe four or five, I think. I'm pretty sure it was pre-COVID. Um, so they obviously make these premix vodka cans, they do cordials, uh, they make flavoured vodka, which I haven't gotten around to trying yet, but it's sort of on my, you know, one day I'll do at least. Um, and I think they also make the, uh, like the soft drink cans. They have a raspberry with vinegar. Oh my god, I know, don't. Look, don't question it, okay? If you ever see it, just buy it. Yes, it's worth it. Yes, they're expensive, but just get yourself one and enjoy it because mwah, delicious. So there we go. I got a boozy advent calendar for 2023. Oh, I forgot. I did get more tree decorations. I forgot. I forgot. How could I forget? These are my favorite. Guys, I'm obsessed with Jingle Bells. I love them so much. I love them so much. Um, these were from Kmart. And I will say Jingle Bells are quite popular this year. I feel like almost everywhere I went, I've seen them. Um, and look, Jingle Bells, they're really traditional um, Christmas decoration. So it doesn't surprise me that they're everywhere. But I'm like, I'm down for it. Okay, I'm so down for it. I got two of the gold, like traditional gold, and then I got two of these ones, which are red, white, and green. These were only $2 for a six pack, uh, which I think is a bargain. Kmart did have bigger ones, so they were, I don't know, probably this big, uh, and they were $3 each. I didn't pick any up, because I was like, you know, I want half a dozen at least. Um, and I, like I said, I'm not stimulating the economy that much, okay? We did also pick up some basics like wrapping paper and Christmas cards. And of course, you can't go past Christmas without like lobsters with a Santa hat earrings, can you? So that's everything we picked up for our first Christmas in our new home together starting from scratch before middle of november Haley finishes off this video end of november Haley has to have a little chat with you at the original time of filming this video i'd planned it to just be a little christmas haul uh, but things have kind of changed a little bit i decided that i actually was going to try to attempt vlogmas again this year i've done it for a few years in a row and i really enjoy it it's a huge challenge, but I get a really big sense of achievement out of it. So I'm going to do it again, even though I'm traveling in like 
a week's time and I'm going to be gone for five days. Uh, that really like throws a spanner in the works. Usually if I travel in December, I'm traveling just before Christmas and by then it's fine because I've filmed all of my videos and I've got some pre-filmed and all that jazz. So I decided to finish up this video by saying welcome to Vlogmas. There'll be a video every day in the lead up to Christmas. And I also wanted to introduce my advent calendars for 2023. Usually I open my advent calendars over on Instagram and I'm going to do that again this year. I'm also going to open them on TikTok if you follow me there. So it will be the same content. You can watch it wherever you want. It doesn't matter. Instead of putting it on uh, what's it called stories, I'm going to upload them as reels though. So you'll find them just on my normal page. If I can add them to highlights, I will. So they're easier to find, but I'm not sure if you can actually do that with reels. So I think we need to start with the absolute most important advent calendar. And that is one for the Freya girl. Is this your one? Is this for you? Don't knock over the camera. Yeah, that's your one. Just checking the others now. Are the other ones for me? Or just this one? Usually she has two. Problem is I don't have uh, the large one that I got for her from Costco a few years ago which I usually fill with larger treats and toys. It's a 12 day one so we open it every second day. Um, I can't like I can't post it to myself. It's too big. I can't bring it home with me. Maybe next year I will see if Costco has them again. I might buy her one or I will work something else out. For now she at least has an advent calendar. I got her the um, Bow Wow, Treat the Ones You Love dog advent calendar. Usually I get them from, I believe it's Pet Stock, but this year they're only doing a 12 day dog advent calendar and no, don't, I don't think so. Uh, I also checked out Pet Barn, but I wasn't really and it appeared to be three different flavored like biscuit style treats and I wasn't into that. I mean this might be biscuity ones as well. I I don't know. But there, again there's only three flavors in here. Chicken, duck and turkey which is disappointing because I like her to have um, quite a variety of treats and I'm pretty sure it was pet stock that I've been getting them from in past years. They had heaps of different varieties of like, you know, dried fish and um, meats and stuff like that. Unfortunately, I feel like, look, I think she'll still like it. She knows what's going on. She understands. She's looking at me like we open now. Um, but yeah, that's, I guess it's more disappointing for me than it is for Freya. Next year, I will probably do my research a little bit earlier on the dog advent calendar. I just assumed that because in previous years, like the last two years that I've done it with her, the one from Pet Stock has always been really reliable and I was just gonna get her that again, but turns out they changed the game. Let me bring you down here to look at the others. As you saw earlier in the video, I do have the Bilson's advent calendar, which I purchased for myself, but I've ended up with two others. Over here, I have the Devoness advent calendar. You, you are so in the way you want to look in there, don't you? Uh, so there's the Devoness advent calendar in there. It's a 12 day advent calendar. And this one here was actually sent by some of my friends for my birthday. This is the body shop advent calendar. So this one is pretty big. It's got a cute pop up in there. I'm pretty sure it is going to be a 24 day. No, it's 25, it's 25 day advent calendar. Um, so I am also going to be opening that, which is really exciting. Thank you to my friends. My friends treated me this year. Very spoiled. So I will start opening those on social media on the 1st of December, which for me is only two days. Uh, for you guys, it's today. So this is the legitimate end of the video. Um, I want to say a massive thank you to my channel members. I appreciate you guys so much. I hope you all enjoy Vlogmas this year and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.